somebody just had a wreck back here they were right behind me i looked in my rearview mirror and saw them spin around and hit the curb and hey now they hit pretty hard she ran up on that right there Slow down. I guess she may have hit that red car back there. You can see bumper stuff. Slow down. Have you called the police? You called 911? Okay. They were right behind me. I saw her when she spun around. And hey now. She hit pretty hard. That, that car nearly went airborne. Slow down. Come on through. You got it. Come on through. I already called. You did? Yeah. Yeah, I asked them. And she, they said that they called as well. <clears throat> I didn't know whether you had gotten hit or not. But you saw it? I didn't see it. I saw it in my rear view mirror. I saw her spin around and hit the thing and smoke come out. Yes. Thank you. Yes. She hit way down there. Oh, and really? and got up on the side. I think the thing went up on the on the like that and flipped around. Mm -hmm. I saw it. It happened behind me, so I saw it flip around and uh, smoke come out. Oh. But she went off the road way back there. You see, there's a bumper out there in the field and oh, okay. something else. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll go check on. Yeah. Okay. Go down. You come on through. There's the, the Nissan in and what's left of it. Field. Yeah. Yeah, I think she got sideways. I think it got up on the yeah. front. Yeah, like that. It. And spun around. You see where it dug in right there. Yeah. Yeah. And flipped her around. Yeah, he's uh, right in front of me. I thought I was going to take it. So you did see it? Uh, that's what you can remember. Yeah. I saw it behind me. I glanced at my rear view mirror and saw it spin around and get the curve. All right, guys, I gotta go. Good luck. All right. I'm Bill. I'm Bill. I'm Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. This thing dug in. Well, this part's all over this field. That's the actual rim. This is of the front end. She hit this tree. Yeah, she caught that tree right there. Went up on the curb right there. And boom, tree. I bet she was texting. I hear. It may have been. But you see the bumper stuff's out there. I don't think There's mess everywhere. But you can see where she left the curve. She hit the edge of the curve right there. When she did that, it broke the rim. Because the rim's laying up there in pieces. Here, all the way down there. So 
so after that wreck um <clears throat> i ran i was headed to mcdonald's is where i was going you can see it's saying it's 62 it's supposed to be 71 today we're just a day or two from a couple of days from december 2016 and uh i've got my coat on and i am hot it's too the coat's too much and it's a light coat so what in the world So we're going to see what the wreck looks like from this side of the street heading back. That young lady's very lucky she wasn't really hurt. <clears throat> and I don't know if she was texting or not, but I would suspect it. So friends, Lunette Extreme Right of the Confederate Infantry Cheatham, December 1864, December the 15th, 1864. This place was attacked by Steedman, under whom were Grub Grusverner, Schaffner, and Corbin, who retreated north and east with heavy losses. And what they're saying is this was a Confederate battle, and they hid behind this, this area right here. And you can see that they're calling this a fortification. And it shows the, this is the, the lunette is what they call it, a Granberry lunette. So it's got the, the shape right there. This is on Polk Avenue is where we're at right now. And um, we're going to walk up here and see. And I'm also going to fly the glory up and over this thing. And so we can learn, learn more about it. But I believe that what they're basically saying is this was built to hide behind. And you can see that they're cut down. It was built in a, in a way that they could hide behind it. Now, since all this has happened, I believe that there's a railroad over here. We're going to fly the glory and see the railroad over there. But I believe that there's a railroad... and we'll be able to see it, but they actually cut this down evidently so they could hide back here. And there's different sides to it, but this is, this is the lunette. Right across the street is 199 Polk Avenue and it's directly across the street if you want to come take a look. So we're gonna fly the glory and see what happens and it does say the railroad cut through approximately 400 yards to the west is the historic cut that featured prominently in the fighting here so there's a railroad right down in here so i'm going to try to walk down in there and take a look at that as well you can see there's a railroad track down in there <clears throat> 